Would you sacrifice performance for better thermals? That's a question the Mealy Quieter 3C threw at me when comparing it to the 3Q. Yes, both have the same CPU, but both perform differently. The other big change are the ports on the back. Want USB-C power delivery for your compatible monitor to power it? Done. How about triple 4K displays? Also done. The Mealy Quieter 3C is a silent fanless mini PC featuring an Intel Ceron N5105 quad-core CPU with UHD graphics. It comes in a 128GB eMMC storage configuration, but you can add an M.2 Gen3 NVMe for extra storage. 8GB of LPDDR4 is soldered on, but once again, it's running in single channel configuration, which means less graphics performance. In the box you'll find the USB-C power supply, monitor mount, screws, and the thermal pad for the M.2 drive. My pre-production sample didn't come with a monitor mount, but Mealy assured me it is included with the retail unit. The BIOS is unlocked with plenty of options, but remember, the N5105 is a locked CPU, so you can't overclock it anyway. I.O. has changed a bit over the 3Q. The triple USB 3 ports on the side are the same, but the fourth port has been changed for a USB-C with DisplayPort out. MicroSD and audio jack are the same, and one of the dual HDMI ports has been switched for a mini display port. Finally, the USB-C to power the mini supports the PD 3.0 function. So you can power the mini completely from your monitor, if you've got one that's compatible, and get display at the same time. Mealy says they've improved heat dissipation on this model to cope with this extra power delivery, and that seems accurate when we look at the temperature tests. Opening it is easy enough, with just a few screws which reveals the M.2 and VME slot for additional storage. Okay then, let's see how it compares to all the fanless budget mini PCs I've reviewed this year, including the Mealy Quieter 3Q. Single core performance is fine, and close enough to the 3Q. Multi-core performance is where we see things go south. This score surprised me, it's 7.5% lower than the 3Q with the exact same CPU. And if we do a real world test of encoding a video, the 3C is behind by 8.5%. Is it the same deal with graphics? Sure is. 3D Mark DX11 down 11.5%. DX12 down 8.5%. While the N5105 has two power limits, PL1 is 8 watts, PL2 is 10 watts. The quieter 3C spends nearly all its time at 8 watts, and this is the result. Performance has dropped across the board. Windows 11 Pro is included. But I also tried Ubuntu, and that worked fine, including Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. I also booted up Chrome OS Flex, and it worked without hitch from my brief test. Since performance is different with the 3C, I'm testing everything again, starting with video playback in Windows. At 4K60 streaming on YouTube, 36 frames out of 10,000 were dropped. At 1440p 60, it's 21 out of 10,000. According to the scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. And at 1080p 60 FPS, it was 16. So no flawless video playback at 60 FPS, but pretty good nonetheless. If the frame rate is dropped to 30, there's still the odd frame dropped. I only got flawless playback on YouTube at 1080p 30. However, a 4K movie using VLC player didn't drop a frame, which is good to see. I've got a good idea of the emulation capabilities of the Celeron N5105 from previous reviews, but let's see how the 3C does at the top end. Dreamcast games still run well. You'll get full speed for most of them. There were some frame drops in Virtual On, and Dynamite Cop. Nothing a drop in resolution wouldn't fix. PSP games almost run at full speed at three times the resolution. The integrated graphics are holding it back from a locked 60 FPS. If you drop the resolution to 2x, it will give you enough headroom to apply some anti-aliasing and anisotropic filtering at the cost of a lower resolution. 
Even Ghost of Sparta holds up pretty well. GameCube is starting to push this CPU, especially if, like me, you're not willing to drop to native resolution. Mario Kart Double Dash has the odd frame drops. Metroid Prime's frame rate is too unstable for my liking. And Rogue Squadron 2 runs much too slow. Not the best GameCube experience, but if you tinker around, you can play a decent amount of games, and you'll even be able to play some Wii games at native resolution. While performance was down, power draw was slightly up, with the 3C having a higher idle and max at 19 watts. But maximum CPU temp is down a lot to just 75C. So the Beely Quieter 3C has an improved port selection but performance was clearly lower across the board, with the CPU power limiting much quicker than the Quieter 3Q, at least with this sample. I guess one positive is that this performance drop results in a lower max CPU temperature, but personally, I'd rather more performance. All these budget fanless mini PCs aren't able to run at their peak consistently, but the 3C is a drop on top of the drop of the 3Q. It's still plenty faster than the Quieter 2, and will handle desktop tasks, no problem. But it's something you should take into consideration if you're planning on buying it. The port selection is nice, as is the USB power delivery support, but memory is still single channel, which lowers graphics performance further. So it's a case of one step forward, two steps back? Oh, this was a weird one. What do you guys think of the Melee Quieter 3C? That's all for this one. Subscribe for more good stuff in the future, and I'll see you later. Cheers.